Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. On this Wednesday, I want to get a look at the latest earthquakes, and there's been a couple new ones. Now, this could be considered an earthquake swarm. Defining that's kind of tough. There's no real definition of an earthquake swarm. Usually an earthquake, you get the, the main earthquake, and then you get aftershocks. Sometimes things get kind of out of order. It's hard to tell uh, which one is the main one, and uh, they kind of happen over a few day or a, a month period. And we've seen a little up uptick the last couple days in this area. 14 quakes in the last 10 days, that's common, but two over four in magnitude. So uh, that is something uh, I'm watching as we get here. Let me get a little more specific for you in what we just had. This one was overnight or very early this morning, right near the DR and Puerto Rico. If you happen to be up, maybe working an overnight shift or couldn't sleep, oh, the magnitude was about four, but this one was pretty deep. So again, mostly, most people wouldn't even feel it. 120 kilometers down or 75 uh, miles down. So that one uh, just near the southeast coast of the Dominican Republic. And then two days ago, actually this was yesterday, I should say yesterday, 4.4 magnitude, this one not as deep, 10 kilometers down or six miles down, right on the southern coast of Puerto Rico. And some folks did feel this. You were leaving those comments about that. Again, four is nothing crazy. And throughout a year in this region, uh, we get hundreds or thousands, even in the low thousands, of uh, registered earthquakes, but most are lower in magnitude. But when we get a couple in a row that are four or better, that is something I'm watching out for to see if uh, this will kind of continue. Just heads up, letting you know that I'm watching this. Could be a little earthquake swarm or a cluster of earthquakes. So I'll keep an eye on that. If anything pops up, I'll let you know, but know that I'm monitoring that for you. Now, we have this one front that moved by, moving into the Bahamas right now. Also saw some comments this morning about some chillier starts, cooler starts starts in some locations. Another system that's going to build up toward the U.S. Let me start with the big picture, then get into the wave heights. Then I want to zoom down and talk about who's going to get some rain. Now, we've got some spotty showers, of course, over toward Bermuda, a higher chance today with this one front moving in. This is later today, but look what happens tomorrow. As we work our way into our Thursday, we're going to see another front build, and I'll show you how close this gets to the Caribbean. But once again, over toward the Tennessee Valley, watching over toward parts of West Virginia, Kentucky, down through the Southeast US. Another chance of rain and or snow as this moves in, very close to New England and the Atlantic region of Canada by the time we get into Friday. And here's the tail end of that front once again. This will bring the coldest weather of the winter so far to Florida Saturday night and to the Northern Bahamas and Central Bahamas Saturday night. And then this will work its way through. I'll show you those winds in just a second. So this front will get a little bit closer to the Northern Caribbean. This is later on our Saturday. As it stands now, most of this action will be offshore of the Atlantic region of Canada, but I do think this is going to clip us by in some spots. So I'll keep an eye on that. And then watching the active uh, West Coast uh, parts of Canada and the U.S. But let me show you this front. The one we have now uh, that is moving by the Bahamas, there's been some showers in the Bahamas over by the Florida Keys, Florida Straits. We're getting those winds now out of the north and northeast dipping back toward Cuba and very close to the Cayman Islands, very close to Jamaica and Haiti. Turks and Caicos, we're going to see the wind switching around, especially tonight. Turks and Caicos, it's going to be a little cooler for tonight, including the southern Bahamas. Now, this is by the time we get into Thursday. Now, this persistent easterly flow is going to crank up some showers in the eastern Caribbean. I'll show you that in a moment, but the winds turn more out of the south and southeast once again tomorrow, so it's, it's short-lived, but as we work toward the end of the week and this next system starts to build, look at these winds shooting down again out of the north by the time we get into Friday. I mentioned that system up here. That's why I'm watching everything. Winds turn out of the north again later on Friday, bringing that chill to Florida through the weekend, the chill to parts of the Bahamas. And as we go out in time into Saturday, look how far south these arrows get or the, the northerly flow gets. We're gonna see this dipping all the way down to parts of the Yucatan, Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador. We're gonna have some cooler nights, much of Mexico as a whole. Winds out of the Northeast, even Honduras, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica. Northerly flow will be with us as we get into Saturday, parts of Cuba, Jamaica, through the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, Haiti, the DR, and eventually Saturday night in Puerto Rico, even the Virgin Islands, 
a bit of at least a northeasterly breeze moving in. So this front that will move in will be a little more substantial with a change in some of our temperatures, just a touch cooler in some spots for the upcoming weekend. A lot cooler, colder up to the north. Now, things are choppy. Where you see the brighter colors, the greens, that's where we're looking at a couple meters or you can see the scale over here, six, seven feet. So I've got feet on uh, that side in meters here. As we get our way into tomorrow in between systems, this is tomorrow, the Gulf okay. But as we work our way into Friday, the next system moves in, things turn choppy again in the coal, Gulf, choppy in the Central Caribbean, and of course, building in the Atlantic waters with that next front that moves in, things are gonna be picking up again. So watching this for our boaters, our mariners out there, any fishing interest, it's like every other day, things start to crank up again with these fronts that move in. Here's the closer look. These spotty showers right here in the Bahamas today, that's the front, the first one, and then we get the second one for this weekend. Guyana and Suriname, some areas of flooding will be possible, and then anywhere from Dominica south through Trinidad and Tobago. It's really hard to pinpoint. I'll tell you what I know and what I don't know, but there's gonna be a little stream of some showers every now and then moving in. Watching Grenada, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Barbados, we could get a few showers. This is as we work our way into Friday. So Eastern Caribbean, again, a little batch, Southeastern Caribbean, keeping an eye on that easterly flow that will bring in that chance of rain as we get through the end of the week. So the forecast, 30% chance of some rain in Jamaica, watching for a bit of a cool down by the weekend. Cayman Islands, same thing. And those winds are shifting around in the Cayman Islands a little bit uh, for today. Trinidad and Tobago holding at about a 30% chance of rain, but I mentioned some of the rain bands that may just uh, scoot in from the Atlantic waters. If those move a little bit more to the south, that rain chance would be a bit higher than 30%. So watching that, Grenada, you can see up to about a 40% chance tomorrow and into Friday, and rain chance 40%. The next few days, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, get back toward Barbados. Again, this may be higher. It's really hard to see exactly where this band of some rain will pop up, but watching Barbados, St. Lucia for at least the elevated chance of rain. So just giving you a heads up, Southeastern Caribbean, we're going to see some islands. Some of us are going to be a little wetter the next couple days, while others are going to be dry. Rain chance 40% in Martinique and about a 40% chance the next few days in Dominica, 30 to 40% chance in Guadeloupe. Rain chance 40% today in Antigua and Barbuda. If we get a shower, it would generally be the passing variety. Rain chance 30% St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. Rain chance isolated Anguilla, St. Bart's. If we get one, it would be passing. Same thing, St. Martin Saba in Stacia, rain chance 20 to 30 percent in Puerto Rico. Watching out for some cooler weather by the second half of the weekend in Puerto Rico. Same thing over toward the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Rain chance about 20 percent in Puerto Rico, just about a 5 to 10 percent chance in Haiti. Limited chances we get back through the southern Bahamas today, but central and northern, we've had some of those spotty showers already. Small chance of rain as we get back toward the Turks and Caicos, mainly dry. Rain chance in Cuba, 40% central and eastern end with that front. Belize, some spotty showers with that front, a 40% chance. Same thing in the Yucatan and Mexico over toward Cancun. Rain chance 20% in Aruba and about a 10 to 20% chance Curacao and Bonaire. Rain chance way up in Bermuda today, of course, with that front moving in. I showed you that earlier in this video. Costa Rica rain chance has been down 20% chance in Guyana and Suriname, as I was talking about, especially in Guyana, we could have isolated areas of flooding. Get back toward Venezuela, rain chance very spotty, very limited. So again, a little uptick in some of these earthquakes, those two that have been four or better in magnitude near the DR and Puerto Rico. I'm going to keep an eye on that as we go throughout the day. Cooler air in our north Northern areas squeaking in, tracking a few of those showers. We talked about that. Isolated areas of flooding. And that next front by the weekend could bring even cooler weather. Some of the coolest weather a lot of us have seen this winter. And I'll continue to monitor those earthquakes. Thank you for being with me and sharing this channel and subscribing. Have a great rest of your day.